All right, the process of applying marker as the base for color pencil techniques on top to add depth and dimension. So, for example, these are the colors that I figured out. First and foremost, what I want to use and where I want to use them. I have the markers here, and I wrote the names down of the markers that I use. So, again, with the figure, I went in and wrote down chartreuse for the ones that I don't know with the yellow and orange and so forth. So my suggestion for applying flat color is going to be demonstrated here and with the flat color our goal here is to develop depth by creating transition in color. So this is called color pencil overshading. So I have flat area of marker down, the yellow in this case, and then I have a little bit of a, of a brown on top. Here I've got the blue marker down and I have white on top. So creating that transition of overshading with marker, this is the plan for the final. And you can see I've got yellow with orange, I've got orange with red, I've got darker blue, and then I use colored pencil overshading to create a little bit of a reflection. All right, The rest of the areas here I just did with colored pencil. This was marker, this was marker with an overshade here. So I need to recreate that here, but my suggestion is start from the back and work your way forward. In this case, I'm going to start with the broad point. You notice the point has a chisel tip on this end, and then the other end has a fine point. So with the fine point, I can get into areas, smaller areas, all right, and control it. Like there's that little bit right there. The other thing is if I'm doing large, flat areas of color, my suggestion with the marker is to use it like a brush. So instead of scribble coloring, my suggestion is try to use it as a brush and create strokes. That's what gives you a smooth overall look to the marker. You see it doesn't look scribbled, and if it does, I can just go over it with a little bit, like another layer or another brush stroke, to finish it off. All right, and it's okay because I have the black marker lines there on the other forms. So there's the sun. Now, you've got to make sure you've got your cover sheet underneath because you can see as it bleeds through, it's going to want to bleed onto whatever's underneath. So make sure you have your cover sheet underneath. I'm going to continue the process of putting the flat areas of color down throughout the rest of the design. Now, my plan is to use colored pencils on top of the areas of marker and in the remaining areas of color. 